a surprise roadblock this morning for drivers in the Twin Cities. Around 7.30, dozens of protesters stood together on southbound Interstate 35W at the Mississippi River Bridge. Traffic backed up for miles until the protesters were eventually arrested. Ashley Roberts saw this all firsthand. Good afternoon, Ashley. Allie, things are back to normal on 35W after this morning's protest shut down traffic for almost two hours. Community members are demanding justice in the death of Philando Castile, the St. Paul man shot and killed by police last week. While the investigation continues, protesters made it clear their efforts will not stop. Early Wednesday morning on the 35W bridge, rush hour traffic stops and a protest begins. A coalition of non black allies, as they call themselves, shut down the southbound lanes in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. These white people understand that, like, we're going through something. Black people are going through something in this country, and they want to fight to make a difference, and I think that's beautiful. They're calling for justice in the death of Philando Castile, and in their words, condemning the ongoing killings of black men by police in the Twin Cities and across the country. It's not just St. Paul, it's not just Minneapolis, it's not just uh, New Orleans, it's not just Dallas. This is not just Oakland. This is a systematic issue. Troopers asked protesters to clear the interstate, but linked in solidarity, they stood their ground. Drivers, frustrated and stuck on 35W, were rerouted onto University Avenue, all while a second group protested near the on ramp. I think that, yes, I think it is making a difference. If not, as a conversation starter to a bigger picture. Um, why am I late to work today? Well, this is why I'm late to work. And let's talk about these things. Let's talk about racism in America. State police eventually moved in peacefully, restrained protesters, placed them on a city bus, towed away their vehicles, and cleared the scene. Almost two hours later, the interstate reopened, but protesters say this chapter in their quest for justice is far from closed. Troopers arrested 41 protesters on the freeway and impounded four vehicles they used to block traffic. Just this past weekend, protesters blocked traffic along Interstate 94. Now that protest turned violent when people threw objects at officers. Today's demonstration, though inconvenient for drivers, was peaceful. Hey, Ashley Roberts reporting for us. Thank you.